All right, so uh, testosterone levels have been decreasing for the past 40 years gradually, which is very concerning as decreased testosterone levels are linked to increased fat mass, uh, lower muscle mass, increased insulin resistance, mitochondrial dysfunction, low metabolism, uh, anxiety and unhappiness. Um, I also put this video as for the ladies as well because excess estrogen are linked to these problems as well and you really want to have a balance and you may be lacking testosterone. Now really you want to time out um, your, your testosterone, your cortisol levels on a daily basis. You want to increase testosterone in the morning and then um, you want to uh, lower your cortisol in the evenings. You need to have a lower cortisol to get good sleep. You need good sleep to get uh, to improve your testosterone, and you need improved testosterone to improve your metabolic function. Um, now, top five ways we can increase testosterone with no supplements, and then also lower cortisol levels, second half. Um, best way to increase testosterone, in my opinion, uh, without supplements is going to be heavy lifting. Anything within the four to six rep range, uh, anything where you're going to till failure on the last set as well. Um, I feel a great sense of calm, and then it's a great way to get your heart rate up and burn fat effectively. The common misconception for the ladies is that you're going to get a very bulky frame. Um, I really don't think so unless you are deadlifting three times a week and you're combining that with a high calorie diet. Uh, I do have a great uh, Instagram page um, for mobility and, and heavy lifting without hurting yourself. Uh, that page is in the description. Second way is going to be fermented foods, uh, things like sauerkraut, kimchi, pickles. Um, watch out for added sugar in those. Uh, there's a probiotic in fermented foods that increases testosterone. Also, also excellent for nutrient absorbability and gut health and gut mobility in general. Third way is going to be the sauna. Uh, get some of the heat shock proteins in there as well. Uh, fourth way is going to be red meat. I'd recommend um, buying it from a farmer's market. Avoid any preservatives, hormones, antibiotics. Last way is going to be sunlight. Um, I recommend that first hour in the morning if possible, or the second best is the first three hours in the morning. Um, also great for the circadian rhythm. Second half of this is how do we lower cortisol levels without supplementation? Um, first way I can recommend is to not drink caffeine after 11 a.m. Uh, second way I can recommend is red light therapy. Uh, now, if you can't afford a red light sauna, then I'd recommend a red light lamp. It's incredible for increasing natural, te uh, natural melatonin production um, and also giving you a great sense of calm. Great for mitochondrial function and also blood flow. I can guarantee you it's made an incredible impact on my sleep schedule and sleep health and my health in general because I'm actually getting a great sleep and you really need that to be healthy. Um, sec third way is going to be uh, turning off electronics before you two hours before you sleep. Fourth way, stimulating the vagus nerve. Um, a great video in the description. And then last way is going to be box breathing or different breathing techniques. I would recommend looking into Wim Hof. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great day.